Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news, rumors, and some injury updates. But before I jump into today's video, definitely make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below today's video. It takes a second and it helps me out a lot. And some comments and questions below today's video talking about all these topics and injury updates. Also, check out my last video if you guys missed it. I was talking about a trade rumor that just came out the other day about how the Bulls are interested in trading for Matisse Thibel. I broke down that whole situation. I was also talking about some free agent targets in my last video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving some big injury updates on Zach, on Lonzo. Also talking about all the LeVar Ball rumors and articles that just came out. And I'm going to be talking about how Mo Bamba has been linked to the Chicago Bulls as a potential free agent target. But either way, let's just jump right into today's video because Casey Johnson did put out an article for NBCSports.com just the other day and he gave a bunch of updates on Zach Levine. Huge shout out to Daniel Greenberg for putting this tweet out. And according to Casey Johnson, Zach Levine will have knee surgery next week you know this was kind of given for honestly weeks to months now you know no matter what i do expect zach levine to recover 100 i mean you could kind of tell throughout the halfway of the season and the end of the season and in the playoffs especially you could just tell zach wasn't 100 he just wasn't the same elite scorer that he was i felt like in the playoffs and the second half of the season i don't i couldn't really remember zach levine dunking the basketball a lot you could just tell he was dealing with a lot of knee pain and back pain and Speaking of Zach Levine, also, I mean, this was given. Zach Levine and the offseason rumors have been going crazy. You know, in this article, Casey Johnson did say the Chicago Bulls are expecting Zach Levine to take visits with other teams in free agency. Casey Johnson also did quote and said that his return to the Chicago Bulls is no longer considered the slam dunk it once was. And that's definitely kind of scary. I know Bulls fans are still kind of 50 50 split on if the Bulls should sign and trade him, let him walk, or pay him a max contract. In my opinion, if his surgery goes well, Zach Levine's one of the best scorers in the NBA when healthy. There's also been a lot of rumors about how he doesn't like DeMar DeRozan, how he wasn't happy, how he took a step back, you know, to DeMar and let him be the number one. And I don't believe that at all. Zach and DeMar were a deadly duo when they were both healthy. And I felt like this whole season, especially on the court, I've never seen Zach Levine smile that much, celebrate that much, and be that happy. I think we all know Zach Levine has said many times he loves Chicago, he loves the front office, you know, he's close with the front office, he likes Billy Donovan as a head coach. And in my opinion, if the Chicago Bulls give Zach Levine a max contract, he'll be back. You know, there's no way he's turning down about 40 to $50 million to go to like the Portland Trail Blazers. You know, no offense to the Blazers, but I just don't see that, especially if Zach's not happy being a number two option. I really don't understand the whole LA Lakers situation why would he want to go to LA I know he's from LA and all that but why would he want to go to LA for less money I mean the Lakers are a way worse team than the Bulls already and then be probably a third option behind LeBron and AD maybe I just I don't understand it it's very confusing definitely let me know below today's video what you guys think about Zach Levine having surgery next week and of course all the offseason rumors that, do, that have been coming out I mean he has been kind of connected to the Lakers the Blazers the Mavericks and the Hawks right now those are the teams that are expected I'd say possibly sit down with him and interview him and I mean, obviously, it's kind of a concern that he is going to take visits with other teams. But like I've said, the Bulls have the more money. They're probably they're more than likely the better team than the Lakers, Blazers, you know, Mavericks and Hawks. I mean, the Mavericks have been playing great in the playoffs, but still. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't blame Zach if he went to go to Dallas and played with Luka. I mean, Luka's been outstanding in the playoffs, but the Bulls have the most money. He's said many times he loves Chicago. I expect him to be back. Let me know your thoughts on that whole topic and rumor and injury update below today's video. And speaking of more injury updates, you know, LeVar Ball, you know, he's been pretty quiet for the past year or so since Lonzo has signed with the Chicago Bulls, but he was talking to David the Kaplan just the other day. There was a bunch of articles that came out, a bunch of tweets, a bunch of YouTube videos, and LeVar Ball gave a big injury update on Lonzo Ball. You know, he did say that his son Lonzo Ball will be ready for the start of next season. He also did say that Lonzo will not need another surgery. I mean, that's great to hear, but at the same time, LeVar is not a doctor, you know, LeVar is just talking to get clay and everything like that hopefully he's right about that topic but then the second topic he did comment on Zach Levine being a free agent and LeVar was one of the people that believe he's not happy taking a second role to DeMar DeRozan LeVar did say that he believes Zach Levine will not sign back with the Chicago Bulls in free agency and I've said this many times many videos if the Bulls offer him a max contract he'll be back you know I'm not I don't even need to entertain what LeVar just said hopefully he's right about Lonzo Ball being ready for the next season and hopefully he's wrong about Zach Levine and it's that simple. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about LeVar Ball's recent comments. 
And the final topic in today's video is about a free agent target that has been connected or linked to the Chicago Bulls recently. You know, Mo Bamba is likely to leave the Orlando Magic in this upcoming offseason. I know Bulls fans have really wanted the Bulls to trade for Mo Bamba for this past year or two, and they really wanted him, the Bulls to draft him back in the day. You know, obviously the Magic moved up really well in the NBA draft lottery, and they're more than likely going to draft a big man. I mean, Bamba, he is a restricted free agent this summer, and according to Bleacher Report and Jake L. Fisher he is likely to leave in this upcoming offseason and I would love for the Chicago Bulls to target him let me know your thoughts and opinions below today's video about the Bulls targeting Mo Bamba in this upcoming offseason but Bleacher Nation Bulls did give a comment on this whole situation and they did say I wouldn't be shocked if a team with salary cap in this upcoming offseason gave him a pretty sizable contract and I do agree I mean Mo Bamba is very young and he has a lot of potential but if there's any option or any way the Bulls could land Mo Bamba, I would be highly interested. Not only does he provide the shot blocking that the Bulls obviously have missed this season, but he is a very good floor spacer and a good three-point shooter as well. I highly doubt the Bulls could afford him, but if the Bulls can, I would love for the Bulls to add this man. Also, you know, he is still super young with a lot of potential. He's a great rebounder, great defender, great shot blocker. Also, I think it's obvious Vooch is on a one-year contract now. He's getting up there in age. If his play continues to decrease in this next season, I believe Mobamba could be a really good post-Vooch option at center. I mean, just back in 2018, when he was heading into the NBA draft, he was talking very highly about Chicago. He said, Chicago's a great city. It's a very young team, and I could see myself playing here. He also said, said obviously the goal was to be the number one pick back in the day but Chicago they have all the assets and everything and when you look at all the categories that they struggled in those were all things I could step in and help impact immediately like they were last or second in block shots and I like to think myself as a pretty good shot blocker and that's still true to this day the Bulls need defense rebounding and shot blocking I like Mo Bamba if the Bulls could get him for a pretty cheap contract or possibly do a sign and trade for him I would be interested I mean, I think NBA fans tend to forget Mo Bamba is only 24 years old. He is a 7-foot center with a 7'10 wingspan. He does weigh 230 pounds. He was a 6 overall draft pick back in 2018. And on the Magic, he has played really well, especially for this past season. I mean, I mean, he did come off the bench, in a, and in about 26 minutes a night, he did average about 11 points per game, shooting 48% from the field and 38% from three-point range as a 7-foot center. And that could definitely help out the Chicago Bulls' floor spacing he also did average eight rebounds one assist about a steal and almost two blocks per game i like mo Bamba as a future center of the bulls or just a backup to vooch thank you guys for all the love on the channel and the past few videos thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one